<laughs> so much emotion. I had a date tonight. I told him to meet me at the grass drags. Oh, what a nightmare. So I get there, right? And he came towards me. It was awesome. We locked lips. We kissed. And as we're talking and walking and talking and walking, he became ultra lame. He was so quiet and all that stuff. And I was just going to have a fun time. Like, it was really outgoing and... You know, I was having lots of personality and all this stuff. And then this dude just says, I gotta go potty, and leaves and went to the porta potties. And he never came back. So, I was like, I'm going to not even give a crap. Because, you know what? It's your loss, buddy. It's your loss. So I just took a high road and I drank a lot and I just self meditated. And it's your loss, buddy. But seriously, we're older. We have kids with people. We get divorced. We're separated, whatever. And the dating world is can't get excited anymore about anything. Like, why the hell would you say you're gonna go to the potty? Go when you're just been cracking jokes and stuff only, so you don't even know what to say personally. You go and you have to check with someone because someone said, yeah, you went in. You say you're going there and then you never come back. Over what? You know, and it's girls like me that have a lot of personality, they have some disorders where they might gap a little too much or come up with some creative things to say and different things like that. Maybe a little on the crazy side, like just for the Zambuster, you know, that personality you have. I have a very outgoing personality, but I sometimes need to insert the foot in my mouth and I don't know when to shut up. But I am a fucking catch, okay? I am seriously... The most funniest girl, the most kindest girl in the world, and just a really good person. You know, that was bullshit. You know, and it's like, what are you gonna. So, yeah, I, I might have like shed a couple tears or whatsoever, but that's it. I'm not gonna let you take control of my whole night. And that was awful thing to do to me. Horrible thing to do to me. You just don't come back. I asked him if he needed some Tums. I don't know what to do. Seriously. Why is it this hard to meet a nice guy? Why? I don't know. But in the end, I was like, freaking, I want to go have some fun. So I went and I got some jerky. Some beautiful smoked jerky. They were about to close down, and I need to get my mind off of it, so I went on a walk with my friend Brittany, and I got this freaking delicious looking jerky. So you can suck it. You can suck it. Well, I suck this.